Hey everyone, this is Dave Newman with iOS Board Games, and I'm here today to show you Sentinels of the Multiverse, which should be hitting for iPad and Android devices next week, Thursday, on October 16th. Uh, the cardboard version, of course, is by Greater Than Games, and the digital version is being done by Handelabra Games. So, anyway, here's the uh, the uh, main menu, the main screen. I uh, just want to show you a few things here. Uh, the first cool thing is this uh, multiverse button right here and this is kinda cool it shows you all the heroes and villains that are included in this set and if you click on them you can actually see like their origin stories and why they are who they are which is pretty neat um, it also you can see their deck so and you can see any of the heroes that way you can see their decks or show their bios and why they are who they are um, for those of you who have not played Sentinels of the Multiverse, uh, it is a cooperative game. Uh, basically, you take three to five different heroes like this, and you put them up against a supervillain, and you do it in some weird environment. So, um, every hero has their own deck, and has a very different feel from each other. Um, for example, uh, Ra here is basically a, he controls fire, and uh, he can do some he's basically a damage dealer that's his job is to just do massive fire damage to any, anything that moves um, where then you have someone like Tachyon here who um, has super speed and her uh, doesn't have a lot of damage cards but she can do um, she can help the other characters really cycle through their cards fast draw more cards um, things like that um, so she's basically a support character which is nice she has some other powers though she can remove cards from play and stuff which is, is good too um, all of them have their own feel it's pretty cool uh, visionary can control minds here's the wraith who's kinda like batman she has a ton of different equipment um, the nice thing is you can double click on cards here you can even zoom in you can see what they look like read all about them check out the art um, and this is the same for all of them, including the villains. Here are the villains. There's Baron Blade and Citizen Dawn. And you can see their bios as well as their, as well as all the cards in their deck. So, so it's a cool thing. I'm glad they added this in. It's kind of nice. Gives it a, a little deeper feel than than just hey, we're playing a card game here. Here's here's all the backgrounds and stuff, which is nice. So, anyway, on to the meat of this stuff here. Let's uh. Let's show you the tutorial for a second because it is uh, very nice. Uh, there's a full uh, rule book in here that is made specifically for the digital version. Um, there are a lot of icons that were created for the digital version that aren't in the, the main game um, or in the cardboard game. So this definitely shows you how the digital version works and how it compares to the to the cardboard version. But up here in the corner you'll see play tutorial. Let's We'll do that. And I'll just show you the tutorial a couple a uh, couple screens of it so you can see um, if you have not played Sentinels um, basically it's there's the villain here there's Baron Blade and here's all the heroes here but you have this nice bearded gentleman here telling you all these what to do so basically the tutorial will play you through a good portion of a game and tell you why everything is happening the way it's happening and kind of direct you uh, in the way you should go so it's showing you here how the villains drawing cards and what those cards do um, and then it moves to the hero turn and we'll walk you through like how the heroes work and their different cards and stuff like that it definitely doesn't show you all the cards um, so there's a lot of still exploration in this game where you will have to figure out how to play some characters. If you're new at this, or even if you've played quite a bit, some of the characters can be tricky to play. Um, I'm thinking Absolute Zero is probably the hardest hero to play, I, I, in my opinion. Maybe other people have a different opinion, but I can never quite seem to get him to to do the massive amounts of damage and other things that he's supposed to do. But um, Anyway, that's kind of what makes the game fun, is figuring all this stuff out. A lot of combos, a lot of different card play. I mean, you have, you know, 15, 16, well, no, there's 18 different decks in this in this game here. So, so there is a lot of uh, variety and 
a lot of replayability. So let's go back to the main menu though, and we'll start a new game. So here's the main main menu. Let's go to new game, and we don't want to do the tutorial. So here's where you select all the stuff you're going to get for this uh, turn. I'm just going to warn everyone now that I am drinking coffee. I know that's kind of gross to do with a microphone next to my face, but um, I'm sorry, I do have a sore throat and a cold, so I'm drinking something warm and nice to make me feel good. So I apologize now. Um, anyway, you can pick your your uh, villains, your heroes, um, different environments. You can on the bottom, you see there's a randomized button, which when you hit it will just diff pick different people in there, different numbers of heroes, and just kind of split it up. Um, it would be nice if you could lock in certain things, like, hey, I, I definitely want to play Baron Blade, but I don't know which I want to randomize the heroes. You can't do that right now, because if you hit it, it randomizes everything. I'm sure that's something that they will add in the future, though. It seems like a pretty uh, simple thing to do. Um, we're just going to do a pretty easy game here, so we'll do Baron Blade, who's probably the easiest of the, the villains to take on, and we'll take him on with Legacy, who's kind of a support character. Ra, who's a good damage dealer, and Wraith, who is also a... she can do all sorts of stuff, she's cool. And we'll do it on uh, your choices of environments, you can do a Mars base, or you can do a Mars base, or you can do Atlantis, or a city, or a dinosaur, you know, island lost in time, dinosaurs, we'll do that, because dinosaurs are cool. We'll do that, I mean, once you have that, and of course I could take up to five um, heroes if I wanted, but for this game, quick, it would, we'll just do three. We'll do a nice, simple game. And let's hit fight and go into the game, see what happens. So, on everybody's turn, including the villain's turn, um, they get to draw a card, basically uh, do powers, and then, uh, I'm sorry, play a card, do powers, and then they draw a card at the end of their turn. So the villain here is playing cards, um, the cards all have fun stuff, so it's basically this one-shot card that the, the that Baron just did is going to force all of my guys to discard a card. Um, and, uh, and then he gets to do damage to all my guys, and then he gets to draw cards based on how many cards um, he gets to discard cards, and that's important, and I'll show you why that is. So... <clears throat> So let's see. So I have to discard a card. And what am I going to do? Um, so here's the cards that Legacy has. So um, I am going to. I like that one. Let's do. So let's do this. Because I, I never seem to have too many powers with Legacy anyway. So. Um, so let's just get rid of this one. This one, this card lets him have to do two powers on a turn instead of one, but not a big deal. We'll get rid of that. As for Ra, his cards are all pretty much damage dealing cards. So um, this Solar Flare is pretty, pretty cool, but he does do damage to himself at the end of the turn with this one. So let's get rid of that. And she has two grappling hooks. So that's an easy pick. We'll just get rid of one of the grappling hooks. And they all take damage. And you'll notice here that it says you can select. So I could pick these in order, in any order I want to take the damage that they're going to take. Um, sometimes that does matter. Sometimes there is a reason why you would want someone to take damage before someone else. Um, but right now at this point of the game, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to hit the Choose For Me button down in the bottom here. And that will randomly just apply the damage to all the, the heroes here. So it will just go through and deal damage to everybody and you can see down here this shows you how many cards are in your hand how many cards you have in play and then your hit points this little uh, blast icon here that you see shows how many hit points every character has and it's kind of a sliding scale so as, as I damage things they'll go down now the deal with Baron Blade is he has this mobile defense platform this thing that has 10 hit points here and basically you cannot damage any damage to him while these are in play so you have to blow that thing up first you can zoom in on all the cards to see it so here's the mobile defense platform it has 10 hit points up in the corner and while it's in play he's immune to damage 
let's look at Baron's card itself. So right now his whole thing is, uh, as a villain, he's this inventor, which he's trying to pull the moon into the earth for some reason, because he's bad. Um, and you'll see gameplay, it says at the start of the villain turn, if there are 15 or more cards in the villain trash, he basically succeeds. So that's why that card that he just played was pretty sweet. He got to discard extra cards into his trash. So if you can see, yeah, it's kind of grayed out because it's in the background a little bit here. here. Let me show you. His trash, he has four cards in his trash already. So he's 11 cards away from winning the game. Um, the other way Baron can win is if he kills all the heroes. So there's two ways the Baron can win, and the only way I can win is to kill Baron Blade and knock him down to zero hit points. You'll see he has 40 hit points right now, but um, under gameplay again, you'll see at the bottom paragraph here it says when Baron Blade would be destroyed his villain character card flips so this card actually flips over so when you get him down 40 hit points he actually gets some different powers flips over and he has 30 more hit points you gotta knock him down before you, you actually uh, take him out so um, that's the plan we gotta knock take 70 hit points off of Baron Blade and right now he's immune to damage so it's gonna be hard to do so what do we have? We have, um, this is a nice little power that uh, Legacy has. Um, of course, I just got rid of a tool that would have given him the ability to do two powers in a turn. So um, I really like, every character has their own power on their card. This is their character card, and you'll see his is, he gives all the other heroes plus one to their damage, which is really nice. So I kind of like that. I kind of like, um, all these cards are actually pretty nice. Um, this is an ongoing card that also will increase damage, so I'm going to put this into play. It heals everybody, and again you can choose to do it one by one or just randomly, so I'll just hit the choose for me and it'll heal everybody one hit point. Um, and then I get to do a power. So that's on your turn, you get to play a card from your hand, do a power, and you'll notice powers, any card that has a power on it is denoted by this little P symbol with a circle. So I have several power cards here, but only the, the ones up here are what's in play. This is my hand. So that's why this is blinking. It's the only power card I could use right now. So that's that going to be that galvanize action, which is increased damage by one to all, uh, for all heroes. So, so along with the inspiring presence card I just played, he's going to be giving all the other heroes plus two to their damage. So... Um, as long as I get cards and powers for the other guys that let them do damage, I should be able to start kicking some butt here. Um, at the end of their turn, uh, the heroes get to draw a card, so that was what Legacy just drew, and now we go to Ra's turn here. And Ra's got some interesting powers. Most of them have to do with fire damage. That one makes him immune to fire, but there's nothing to do with fire right now, so it's kind of a pointless thing to play. Um, this one just does some damage. Um, both of these because they're the same card. So I'll do this and I'll do a couple damage to the mobile defense platform and you'll notice that it tells you how much damage you're doing and why. So the, the card says I do uh, one target two fire damage yet I'm doing four because I get plus one from Legacy which was his his character power and then another one from that card that he played. So he's doing four total. So, and you'll see the hit points slid down, so it's showing the mobile defense platform now only has six. And then I get to do a power. So the power I'm going to do is on Ra's card. He just gets to do one target, two fire damage. So it's pretty straightforward. So he's going to do that, and I'm going to attack that guy again. So he gets to do another four damage to the mobile defense platform. So that thing's down to two. So we almost have Baron Blade naked and ready for some major damage so so let's go to Wraith's turn here and the first thing she can do is play a card and none of these cards do damage so unfortunately Wraith isn't going to be able to take out that mobile defense platform you can kind of tell by looking at the icons what they do um, and they're pretty intuitive I, I, I learned them pretty quick um, like this little symbol of like swords crossed um, tells you that it's going to enhance a, a damage mode so and sure enough this card increases damage by two um, 
this one here tells you it's got a power and then it has uh, the ability to draw cards and stuff like that and then this tells you that you can manipulate ongoing and environment cards as well as draw cards so um, there are no damage icons here so I know I'm not going to be able to do any damage or anything and, and Wraith's power itself is just to prevent damage to herself she has stealth so really right now I'm kinda don't have much to do but I'm gonna put this equipment into play anyway so when I do get damage I'll have plus two to my damage for Wraith which is pretty sweet um, but for the meantime she can't do anything so she's just gonna use this power and reduce damage to herself so and she draws a card which is no, again not doing damage so uh, that's part of the fun of this game is the cards come up and you can be screwed so so now this is gonna deal the target with the second highest one of hit points five damage this T-Rex that just came out so legacy is the guy who took it um, in a perfect world you'd be able to manipulate it because uh, environment cards can often affect the villain as well as the hero so if you can manipulate these cards to you know make Baron Blade be the second most guy then that dinosaur is going to start eating him but he's got a lot of hit points right now so I don't know that we'll be able to knock him down we might have to concentrate on getting rid of that T-Rex um, let's look and see what other stuff uh, here is a nice card for Legacy. Like I said, Legacy is a support guy and he basically is a meat shield. He's gonna take damage that should be going to the other characters. He's gonna put it on himself. This one he takes damage right at the beginning and then all the other heroes for the next turn are immune to all damage. So that's not a bad card. Um, now, unfortunately he has uh, Baron put out some minions here which we need to kill. But they're going to attack the person with the highest hit points, and that would not be Legacy after he takes damage. Um, and the dinosaur would attack um, Wraith. So, yeah, that's not a bad card. Let's put that into play, and he should protect. Uh, he should damage the other. Uh, the other two guys should be prevented from taking any damage this next turn. So that that'll help them a lot. He's going to galvanize them, which just gives all of them plus one to their damage. And he draws a card, which lets him do another power, so that's cool. Alright, so Ra can do some stuff. What can Ra do? Ra can do... Um, so here's one that Ra can uh, do one fire damage, and then f he can do an additional power this turn so you can do two powers instead of one so you could do some major damage if I do that so let's do that it's a one shot card so you can do one target one fire damage and of course that's going to show you when you click on which guy you want to do it'll show you how much you're actually going to do uh, based on all the modifiers you get so let's take out the should we take out the mobile defense platform sure why not let's take that out so at least we can start doing some damage to the Baron here. And I get to use a power. So um, I can do one or I can do two damage. This one lets me draw a card though, so I think I'm going to do this power. And it's nice, you can either double click on a card to make it large and then click the use power over there. Or if you just click on it once, it'll just show you the power. Um, and you can just click it from here without having to open up the whole card. So I'm going to do this. Deal one target, one fire damage. And who should we do it to? Should we hit the Baron a little bit? Or should we try to take out his lackeys? Uh, I don't like any of them, really. Let's take out Baron. So now that we can hit him, because his defense platform is gone, we can hit him. We get to draw a card because of the the power lets us do it and then we get to draw a regular card just at the end of our turn. Oh, first I get to do another power, that's right. I get two powers, so I get to use both of them. So I'm going to use this power as well. And this one will let me do four damage to Baron. We'll knock him down. And let's go to Wraith, who has no cards right now. 
reduce damage, which is nice. Now this card here, this grappling hook, she can destroy an ongoing or environment card. So I could just destroy that T-Rex card right now. And she doesn't really have any other... Um, she doesn't really have anything else to do this turn, so I why not? Let's do that. So I'll have her destroy a card, and she's going to destroy the T-Rex. So there she goes. She took out that T-Rex. We don't have to worry about that thing anymore. And boy, she's drawing really bad cards here. She's just going to reduce damage, use her power, that's on her card. And let's go back to the environment turn. And she's getting all sorts of cards that she already has. She needs some other cards. Alright, Velociraptor pack uh, attacks the character with the lowest number of hit points, which unfortunately is... Uh, oh, unfortunately, I forgot about the Blade Battalion. So here's where it affected, the environment actually affected the villain, and it beat up on his minion because they had the lowest hit points of anyone on the table. Um, here's a card that we don't like, especially with, uh, with Ra in play, is the Baron just got this card which lets him um, redirect damage to um, the hero with the lowest hit points. So, that is bad because the only guy we have right now who can do damage is Ra, and all of his damage is fire. So this basically means that we can't damage uh, Baron again until we knock this thing out. And this thing has 10 hit points. So we need to figure out we're going to be attacking this thing for a while to try to get rid of it. Um, what does he have? I'm going to put that ring into play. That'll let Legacy on his next turn will be able to do two powers, so we'll s we're setting him up for next turn. So right now, Legacy's turn is pretty boring. He just gets to galvanize everyone, which means they all get plus one to their damage. And we move on to Ra. Um, Ra just picked through this one, which... Um, let's just draw a card from his deck. This He can have the Staff of Ra. Which is a nice card, it ups his damage, um, and then lets him do other stuff, but the problem we have is that all of the damage he can do um, right now is fire, so he can't, and that won't affect Baron, but we can still get the staff, so we'll do that, we'll summon the staff, and there it is, and it goes into our hand, and then the other part of that card was that we get to um, draw a card and play a card, so... Look at that, we got two stabs, isn't that amazing? So I'm going to put one of the stabs into play. We heal for that one, and that's what the big heart icon means. Any card that has a heart on it is a healing card. And um, now I can do a power. And I really want to hit that... Um, I want to hit the that device as hard as I can. So let's do this, and we'll hit the elemental redistributor and we can do five damage to this thing so we're getting at least half down and we'll let the velociraptors eat the minions of his we don't have to worry about those minions too much and what can rate the wraith is really not not doing well so she's gonna do this equipment which she'll take less damage from an environment card if it comes up and this will make her take less damage from everybody, so we need her to get some weapons. Right now she just doesn't have any. And she still doesn't have any, so and of course this is part of the fun of the game is, you know, you don't always have what you want. Oh, this is a interesting card here that just happened. We just had a big volcanic eruption. Um, and you notice that the Velociraptor has attacked the Baron Blade's minions instead of me because they have the lowest amount of hit points on the board. Um, but and here's another one that Baron has a first time he's dealt damage in a turn, he's going to redirect that damage to back to the player who dealt it. So he is putting up a wall around himself here, which is good for him. 
Um, do I want to skip the rest of my turn? The reason they're asking is because that environment card is <clears throat> at the beginning of the next environment turn um, we'll all take 7 damage. That includes Baron Blade and all of his minions and all that stuff. Which is great, except I don't want to take 7 damage from all my guys. So to get rid of this, someone has to skip their whole turn. Um, I don't want Legacy to do it. I think we're going to have Wraith do it because I know she doesn't have very many good cards right now. So, so I'm going to say no. And Legacy won't skip his turn. And he can do... He's going to do this motivational charge. Now he gets to do two powers. And you'll see up at the top of the screen, it's kind of nice. They show you whose turn it is and what phase of their turn they're on. And you have the choice to skip it. Um, these buttons over here actually will show you um, some different powers that are in play and stuff like that. Um, the two arrows is an undo. You can actually go and undo a turn. You can go back several, several steps click on any phase and it'll take you all the way back to that turn, unwind all the way back. And then there is a way to get to the rule book and stuff right inside the app. You don't have to leave the game to go check out the rules. Um, so he has two powers you can do. So the first one he's going to do is that galvanize, which is just going to increase everybody's damage. And then he has a second power, so it's going to be this one, which is he gets to do two damage, and then everyone regains a hit point. So it's a little bit of healing and a little bit of damage. We like that. And I think he really wants to take out that redistributor thing, which he's got four damage, so he's really close to knocking that thing out. And everyone gains. And again, you can choose if you want, but I'm just going to do choose for me and it'll just give everyone their one hit point back. And he gets some damage. Alright. So does Ra want to skip his turn? No, he doesn't because he's got some fun things he can do. So, one of those fun things is um, he's going to do this, which basically is like a fire shield. Anytime he takes damage, he's going to redirect some of that damage back to whoever hit him. Um, and then he's going to do some some damage. So he's going to do he's going to use this power. It only does one damage, but he gets to draw a card. And I'm going to do that one because I want to take out that elemental distributor. So I don't care if I do that much damage. It only has one hit point. So all right, that thing's out of play. So I can start hitting him with fire damage again. Um, boy, I'm not getting good card draws here at all. That's a good one, though. One target gets five, five fire damage. And here's Wraith. Um, do you want to skip the rest of your turn? Now, <clears throat> you might not know. You can't remember. Of course, if you're you know, playing with five heroes, do I really want to skip my turn or not? That's what this Meanwhile button is for down in the, in the back. You can hit Meanwhile, and it'll open up the screen and get you off of that. So you can check out how the board looks, what cards anyone has in play. You just click on a hero and it'll show their hand or what cards they have in play. So you can see everybody here. And you say, okay, yeah, I'm going to skip my turn. And hit yes. And that removes that volcanic eruption from the environment. And we go to the environment turn. So a card gets drawn for the environment this turn. We have Primordial Plant Life. So we all have to the heroes all have to, well, they can destroy a ongoing card. And if they do, they only take two damage. If they don't, they take four damage. I really like these, so I'm going to not discard any. So I'm just going to take the damage. And we will just let them pick. There we go. And everybody's happy. The Velociraptor attacked the Blade Battalion again because they have the lowest hit points. So we kind of like those Velociraptors at this point. We don't want to take them out. We'll let them take out that Blade Battalion by themselves. Oh, great. He put another one of those in play. So again, we can't do fire damage to them, which is great. <sighs> so we got to blow that thing up. So, this just lets him do some damage, 
So let's throw that into play and we'll knock out this as much as we can, this elemental distributor here. So we just did four damage to it. And ooh boy, Legacy's getting all the good damage cards. Normally he's loaded with support stuff, so I get to do two powers again, so I'll do this one, which he does two damage and then we all get a hit point. So let's see, he's gonna keep attacking that elemental distributor. <clears throat> Try to get it out of play for see if Ra can actually do some damage to something, but um, and everyone gets a hit point back, so we'll just say choose for me and everyone gets a hit point. And there we go. So now his last power is going to be this Galvanize, which gives everyone a plus one. Um, as you can see, the app looks great. I mean, it plays. It's really intuitive. Um, I mean, it's it's better than sitting there playing this solo on a table. I mean, all the math is handled for you, everything, all the stuff. It's pretty fantastic. Um, let's see. So what, what does he have to do? He's got three damage there against that. Uh, so here's a... What does this do for the Baron? Baron has a backlash field, which he deals lightning damage, so I can't prevent damage from hitting me if I attack the Baron. I need a card that lets me get rid of an ongoing card, which I don't have any. So, what to do? I don't really want to waste this one. This is the one I just got. It does five fire damage, which is a lot of damage. And I don't want to waste that on that elemental redistributor because I can already do three damage. So I'm just going to hit, there's a skip button up here. So I'm going to skip playing a card. And then for my power, I'm going to use the living of Conflagration there, which will, um, conflagration, jeez, what's wrong with me? Um, sorry, and we'll hit the elemental redistributor here for four damage, which will knock it out of the fight. And hopefully he only has two of those in his deck, and we won't see another one of those for a while. with more cards that he can't use. I'm not getting good draws from anybody right now. Um, boy, I just don't have a lot. The Mega Computer, I'll put another one into play. I think that will uh, continue to help all of us not take environment damage, which is nice. Um, and then her only power is to reduce damage to herself. That's all she can do. So, uh, at least there, she has some throwing knives. So at least there, she can do a little damage. It's not her best uh, damage card, but it's something. So at least we get that coming next turn. That's good. Uh, T-Rex is out. So he's going to hit the second highest guy, which is going to be one of my heroes. I think it's going to be... is going to be Wraith, but he only did one damage because of all the damage prevention she has on her, so that's not too bad. But we definitely want to get that guy out of play. <coughs> More of these knuckleheads. So the Velociraptors killed his other Blade Battalion, but... So now these guys are going to start attacking me. You have to choose who has the highest if there's a tie. guys are starting to get beat up here so he's got a lot of stuff in play and how do what's the best way for me to get rid of all these guys how about I <clears throat> how about I where is it flying smash I can do three targets three melee damage each so why don't we do that and I'll knock out a bunch of guys here as much as I can. Unfortunately, I can only do four damage to each of these. Okay, so we'll do that guy. We'll knock out his other blade battalion just to get rid of it. And then I'm going to hit that T-Rex, I think, and try to wear that guy down a little bit. 
I still have a couple powers here. So the first power is going to be to galvanize, which adds plus one to all damage. And then we're going to do a little damage. So he's going to do this one to the, we'll go after that T-Rex. Do four more damage to it, and he heals everyone a little bit. And we'll just say choose for me. Everyone gets a hit point. done, we're over to Ra, and now might not be a bad time to take out that, I could take out the, uh, I can take out that T-Rex with this guy here, so I think I'll do that, it's a one shot, and I'll just blow up the T-Rex, and do an eight damage, and he's gonna knock that guy out, so the T-Rex is gone. And he has a regular power. I want to keep that blade battalion on the board because that'll, um, that will then, the Velociraptor pack will attack that blade battalion. So, um, I don't really want to knock him out. So my powers are really to do damage, but if I do any damage to Baron, his backlash field will come into play and I'll take three damage. Um, but, I will then target him with two more damage, so I'll actually get to do quite a bit of damage to him because I have this barrier when I take damage. I, we're going to kind of be ping-ponging this damage back and forth a little bit. So let's do that. We'll deal him some fire damage to the Baron himself. So we'll do five damage to him now, and now he's going to redirect three damage to me, his backlash field. So I took three damage, but then my flame barrier should react, yep, and I get to do damage back to him, which is five more damage. So I did ten damage to him that turn, which is a pretty good turn. Probably worth the uh, three points of damage I took, so. And we're back to Wraith, who's been kind of boring this, this turn, hasn't she? Um this game. I'm going to throw her throwing knives into play, and we can do those, which does one damage to three different um, targets. So, what the heck, let's do it. Let's see how that works. Now, so I could do up to three here, so I can definitely attack the I can knock out the Velociraptor pack in one turn, so I'm going to do that. Might as well take it out because I can kill the Blade Battalion as well, so I don't need to worry about being attacked by it anymore. So we'll get rid of the Blade Battalion. And now a little bit to Baron himself. So five more damage to the Baron here. But unfortunately, his Backlash Field does react again, so he does three damage to Wraith. So. I just uh, think I'll get at least to the point where I flip the Baron here before we cut this uh, video off. So, um, thanks for sticking with me here. Um, there's this stupid plant again, which I'm not happy about. This is going to do a lot of damage. Um, but boy, I like everything I have. I hate to do it, so I'm going to take the damage and just... Uh, I'm just going to take that damage. Sure, everyone takes four damage, um, but luckily the uh, Wraith has two mega computers, which keep subtracting two from that environment damage, so it's not quite so bad. So there's no environment cards in play right now, which is always good. All right, oh, another Blade Battalion. Jeez, you guys got a million of them, and he has nine cards in his trash. And remember, if he gets fifteen then he wins, so um, it's getting to the point where I'm kind of nervous about keep killing all of his his guys here, but Ra just killed him automatically because he had that flame barrier intact. Um, they attacked him because he had the highest hit points, and he right away went and killed them, so I didn't even have a choice there about that. Um, 
So it's good and bad because he has 10, 10 guys in his trash now, so it's getting a little tight. Um, i got to really work on his hit points and get his hit points down. Because um, once Baron flips, then that, that win condition for him isn't in play anymore. So let's see if I can just try to do as much damage as I can to to Baron here. So I'm going to increase my damage as much as I can. I'm going to punch a uh, Baron Blade here. So let's see, I get to do six damage to him. Look at all that stuff. I'm adding all these pluses. And I'm going to take some damage back from his backlash field, but not much I can do about that. Um, and everyone will get hit point back, so I'll just hit choose for me. They all get a hit point. see I'm getting more damage for Legacy is just a monster in this game so let's see what do I got I got a bunch of stuff he's got a lot of cards so let's see what this uh, flame spike is flame spike is pretty cool because it lets me do damage and then I get to do two powers this turn so I'll attack him for four right away and I'll take three of that back but remember I get to dish it back because of my flame barrier so it's all good. And I think we're going to be able to knock him down to zero this turn. Yeah, he's down to three already because my flame barrier did five to him. And now I get to do two powers. So um, we'll do this one, which is I can do uh, damage to one target and I get to draw a card. So this should knock him out and cause Baron to flip. So there he is. He's down to negative one. So his card will flip. And now he's this guy, and look at that, he's back to 30 hit points. Isn't that great? Notice his, uh, his um, backlash field didn't work, because it only works one time per turn. So, so it's kind of nice, I get to keep pounding on him here with my other cards, and I don't have to worry about his backlash field. So I'll hit him with my second power this turn, which is Pyre, and we'll try to really knock him down here. So now the wind conditions have changed a little bit. Uh, we don't have the worry about the cards in play anymore. Or the cards in his trash, I should say. Um, let me show you his new card. So here's the Baron's new card. And you'll notice the gameplay down at the bottom is basically those mobile defense platforms are all moved to the trash, and all of his trash is shuffled back into his draw deck. Um, and he gets to personally do three damage to the highest targeted hero, the highest hit point hero, I should say, every turn. So he's just going to be a damage dealer now, and his whole goal is just to kill us. Now he's just mad that we blew up his, you know, ruined his moon plan, and uh, he's going to try to kill all of us. So now it's just a who can kill each other first. And I'm going to bet it's going to be me. So um, I'm going to do a one shot here for Wraith. She just gets to do a little damage. And it says the target dealt damage, so it cannot deal damage until the start of my next turn. So this is going to prevent... She's going to take damage from his uh, backlash field, but at least he won't be able to do any damage uh, th until Wraith goes again. So, so that's good. And now she gets some, uh, some powers. So Wraith uses throwing knives. She'll hit him for five, so Baron is hurting here, he's down to 16. And no one else needs damage, I don't want to hurt my friends. Now there are times when you might, there are heroes who actually do cool stuff when they take damage, so um, sometimes you would want to maybe hurt your friends and trigger a, a combo that way. Um, and there are times, I know that that whole... Um, choose for me seems like I do it every single time and, and for the most part you do but there are definitely times when you want like a certain hero to take the damage first um, for example I would want right now I would want Ra to take the damage first because he has that barrier that would hit something back so there's a chance he could kill whatever is attacking him and then it wouldn't damage the other two two heroes but for right now we'll just go with this so this is uh, lava in the environment so at the end of the environment terms is where we are. Each hero can destroy one of their equipment cards. If they don't, they take damage. 
Ugh. And then at the start of the next environment turn, each player has to discard the three top cards of their deck, and then this card goes away. So I really don't want anyone to destroy a card, so we'll skip. We'll just deal with it. We're close to beating the Baron, so I don't think we need to worry about taking him out uh, too much. Let's do this. Everyone's only going to take one damage, too, because I have those two mega computers in play, which is pretty sweet. <clears throat> All right, on to the stupid Baron here. Let's see what he pulls. He's got Flesh Repair Nanites. He gains hit points. Uh, that's not what I wanted. So he's back up to 26. And then he can't do any damage to us this turn. Normally he would attack, but Wraith hit him with that power where he can't do any, uh, he can't attack this turn. So that's the end. That's all he gets to do. Um, so let's try to just do as much damage as we can to this sucker. So here's three melee damage with all those uh, bonuses. He gets up to six. And of course the backlash field is going to come back and hurt legacy, but yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, he can't do any damage. That's right. Because uh, basically none of the guys can do... That would be the Baron doing damage, so he can't because of Wraith's power. So, so actually, that's perfect. So, and I should have done this before I attacked. That would have given me another damage uh, point. But yeah, that's what happens when you go too fast. Actually, I couldn't have because I was just playing card. Ignore what I'm saying. I'm talking complete gibberish at this point. I feel like I've been doing this for a while. Uh, just so you know, this is my third. Uh, recording of doing this. The other two did not work, so I'm hoping this one works. Um, we'll see what happens. So, so alright, so we're we're doing some good stuff here. We took Baron back down to 14, so we, Legacy did 12 points of damage to him that turn, which is pretty good. I think I might be able to knock him out this round if I can maybe pull... Well, maybe not. I have to, I have to see what. I don't have any really good, strong one shots here for. <clears throat> for uh, Ra, I was gonna say if he could really do some major damage here, that that would be. Pretty sick, but he doesn't really have any cards that boost his damage or anything, so. Um, he's immune to fire damage. He can. Well, this, this would let him, putting this into play at least, would let him do more damage. So let's just do a little more damage this turn. Um, so, and remember, he's going to have that backlash field, but my uh, flame barrier will reject, you know, refire that damage back at him too. So, so he's going to do three damage to me, but he can't. You know, and because he didn't, my flame barrier didn't work. So uh, this isn't working as good as I'd hoped. But hey, what what are you gonna do? Um, let's do this. We'll do just do fire damage to. Let's just nail Baron Blade as bad as we can here. He's gonna have four hit points left. Can the wraith knock him down? I don't remember what the wraith drew. Maybe she can do four damage this turn. I'm not sure. So there, it's the start of uh, Wraith's turn, so you can see now he can do damage again, so good for him. Um, I don't have any cards here that would let me... that would let me do more damage, unfortunately. So, the only thing I have is my throwing knives, so... which is not going to do enough damage, I don't think. I think I only have plus two, so... Oh, I don't. What am I missing? Oh, she has plus two to her computer, so I do have enough. So this was going to kill the Baron right here. So the heroes have won the day. There we go. And that's the end. So, um, that's Sentinels. That was a quick game. Uh, basically the easiest game I could do. I picked easy heroes that can do a lot of damage against a fairly weak villain. Um, it can definitely be a lot harder than that. Um, I recommend uh, playing Citizen Dawn with only three characters, and uh, that can be quite the challenge. Um, 
this uh, version contains everything the enhanced edition uh, contains and they are ex planning on including expansions later as IAP um, but for right now you guys can expect to see this the next week uh, should be out Thursday and uh, it's a good one have a good time with it thanks everybody I will uh, see you all soon